Hey guys, welcome to another news update. In this edition, we'll talk about CD Projekt Red attack, SIM swappers stealing cryptocurrency from celebrities, and Microsoft patch correcting zero-day vulnerabilities. Finally, we'll talk about an interesting CV that caught our eye. Let's begin with a story that grabbed the attention of security researchers and gamers alike, the CDPR attack. Even though the details are still unclear, we want to try and shed some light into what happened. CDPR recently released their highly anticipated game Cyberpunk 2077. CDPR were hacked and refused to pay the attackers. The attackers then announced that they sold the stolen data for an outrageous amount of $7 million, but some suspicion have been made regarding this statement. It may be that the attackers only said they sold it because the attempted blackmail failed. In addition, EMI software researchers have estimated that the ransomware used in this incident was a low kitty. This is due to the analysis of the ransom node filename and its format that seems to resemble a low kitty format. This is a developing story and we'll keep an eye for any further developments. Now let's talk about Europol arresting 10 people connected to SIM swapping attacks resulting in over $100 million of cryptocurrency being stolen. The victims of the attack include a few internet influencers, sports stars, and famous musicians. The attackers gained access to the victim phone numbers by persuading phone carriers into assigning their victim cell services to a SIM card under their control. This allowed the attackers to gain access to one-time verification codes, which were used to verify the login requests and money transfer requests from the victims. Europol recommends to use two-factor authentication that does not use SMS or phone calls, rather use an application such as Google Authenticator. In other news, Microsoft corrected 56 vulnerabilities in new updates they just released. Let's look into three of these vulnerabilities. There are two critical RCA vulnerabilities affecting Microsoft TCP IP implementation. These two vulnerabilities are difficult to exploit, but Microsoft believes they could be used for future DOS attacks, which may make them a higher priority. Another high priority flaw is a Windows 32K zero day vulnerability. This vulnerability is a privilege elevation vulnerability in Windows 32K. This actively exploited vulnerability allowed an attacker or a malicious program to elevate their privileges to administrative one. Microsoft advised its users to apply these updates as soon as possible. Finally, let's talk about a tweet that caught our eye. So first, a little bit of background. In January 2020, Microsoft released a security update for Microsoft Exchange. This update was supposed to fix vulnerabilities that would allow attacker to turn a stolen Exchange user account to a complete system compromise. Eight months later, Tom Seller, a security researcher, published a blog post that showed that about 350,000 Exchange servers have yet to have been updated. Last Wednesday, a user named Frykos tweeted that thousands of Exchange Server 2007 are still vulnerable to this vulnerability, even though they were patched. He came to this conclusion after drilling into the Microsoft Exchange code and Seller's blog post about the CV. You can find the tweet mentioned in the description down below. That's it for now. More details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description down below. Don't forget to follow us on our other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories. 